Good morning. Today's video is about MySQL replica set. So you may have seen um, a replica set in 8019. So uh, maybe you haven't tested it yet, but I wanted to show you how it works. So now we have two MySQL server here, uh, just installed, right? And I will start them. And then I have an app where I've installed the MySQL router. So I started MySQL on both servers. And I will connect to them using MySQL shell. By default, we are in JavaScript. The first thing I'm going to do, I will configure um, the instance to be uh, used as a replica set uh, member. You ask me if I want to create a, a, a user or use the root user. I will create one dedicated to, to this. The user account needs to be the same uh, on all servers that will be part of the of this replica set. As we assume MySQL 8, it does set persist. And you ask if we want to restart, let's say yes. And we do the same, exactly the same on the, uh, the second um, server, MySQL 2. So replica sets, as you can see now, it looks like InnoDB cluster, but in fact it's replica set, uh, InnoDB replica sets, meaning that we try to have exactly the same syntax or very similar syntax to be able to create replica sets, meaning asynchronous replication between servers. So now I have configured the MySQL 2. I will connect using the new created user with the password I have defined. I can save it. It is not mandatory to reconnect uh, MySQL 2, but let's do it. We're going to use it uh, uh, later. Same user, same password, we store the credentials. So now I will create this replica set. So I use the admin API by DBA and I use create replica set and then give a name to my replica set. It checks the configuration and it says, okay, it's ready. It updates metadata. And as you can see now we have a replica set object that we can see is the apology type is asynchronous. So it looks familiar for people who knows in ODB cluster, but it's a bit different, right? So now I will add that a new instance using add instance, exactly the same as in ODB cluster. The provisioning can be also automated using the clone plugin. This is what's happening right now. So it populates uh, MySQL 2 with the data of MySQL 1. Now it's done. We can check the status of our replica set. So we can see there are two servers, MySQL 1, which is primary, meaning the master, and MySQL 2, which is secondary, meaning the replica. Now I will, on my application server, I will bootstrap the router to be able to use this replica set. We use exactly the same syntax, so bootstrap, connecting to one of uh, the member of my replica set, then specify the user I use for MySQL router, which is MySQL router. It does it and it creates four ports, one for writes and one for reads only. So now we're going to connect to uh, the router on the read port. But of course, <laughs> before that, I also need to start MySQL router. I use system CTL to do that, the DOM. And now I can connect. So on the read classic port to reach out secondary members of my replica set. So the secondary member right now, it's MySQL 2. So let's have a look which server I'm connected to, MySQL 2. This is perfect. So if I use 
the right port that should reach me to the primary. Let's take a look again. And we can see that we are on my skull one. Perfect. Let's connect again on the secondary one. Uh, you know, I want to connect first on the primary and let's switch that. So I will connect again on the primary. Here we are. Let's verify. If you remember correctly, the primary, it's still MySQL 1, right? So now with the shell, I will also change that in my using the replica set object I have, and I will say change the set primary instance, so use set primary instance method to promote MySQL 2 as the primary. Let's have a look. Yes, MySQL 2 is primary now. So let's check in our connector, in our shell client, it needs to reconnect and it's checked that, okay, MySQL 2, it's indeed the, um, the primary one. So now let's create a user for my application, right? Because people say, oh, this is cool replica set, but wh what does it mean for people that are not uh, let's say familiar with MySQL replication. What does that mean? So I create a user. I will give pre all the privileges I need to uh, uh, to that user. Of course, if you can find grind your privilege, it's always better. But here it's a test, so I will give access to every data, uh, every database and table. Now on my application server, I will connect with that user to the read write port. I will create a new table, first a new schema database called FRET and I will create a new table that I will call a T1, very simple definition of course, no need to make it complicated right now. typo it was a bit too small to see it when I typed I'm missing uh, okay done now I will add some data in this uh, in this table so I am connected you to the router using the read write port so what you call the write port and I will add some data there so the primary is MySQL 2 for the moment. Let's see on the secondary. If that database table has been created and if data is there. We can see data is there. Let's verify on the primary data is there too. So it's very easy now to create replication. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.